In virtual reality, people can be whoever and wherever they want. Researchers at Stanford University's Virtual Human Interaction Lab use the Engage platform, a publicly available application that allows for learning and communication in social virtual reality, to conduct two large-scale longitudinal experiments in order to answer three questions. First, the effects of people's visual appearance. Second, the surrounding environment. And third, if and how things change over time. Researchers manipulated how people looked and where they were in the virtual environment to see how their attitudes and behaviors changed over a long period of time. Across eight weeks, 272 participants used MetaQuest 2 headsets to meet inside virtual environments. For 30 minutes, groups held discussions, drew in 3D space, brought in 3D models, and suspended sticky notes in the air. During these sessions, participants 18 degrees of freedom of movement of their head and hands, as well as reports of their attitudes, were collected. In study one, participants' visual appearance was manipulated, such that participants either looked like how they did in the physical world, or looked like their group members. In the latter condition, all members of a group were asked to use a uniform avatar instead of their own. In study two, the surrounding environment was manipulated such that participants were either in a constrained environment or a spacious environment, and either indoors or outdoors, surrounded by nature. For this, the researchers created 192 unique virtual environments. Results showed that when participants looked like they did in the physical world, they were more non-verbally in sync with their group members, meaning there were more similarities in movement-movement behaviors between pairs. Additionally, participants reported feeling an increased sense of self-presence and realism. On the other hand, when participants wore the uniform avatars and everyone in the group looked the same, they experienced greater enjoyment in the virtual environment. Results also showed that when participants could see more space, they were more non-verbally in sync with their group members, meaning they moved their bodies together more. And they reported the environments as being more restorative, felt more cohesive with their group members, had an increased sense of pleasure, arousal, self and spatial presence, enjoyment, and realism. Moreover, when participants were in outdoor environments, surrounded by nature, they found the environment to be more restorative and had greater enjoyment than when they were in an indoor environment. The researchers also found that time is critical in understanding how people's experiences change and that seeing the results from only one session does not paint an accurate picture of what is really going on. In study one, almost all the measured aspects of people's VR experience got better over time including group cohesion, self, social, and spatial presence, enjoyment, and realism. In study two, self-presence and realism increased over time. In the paper, the researchers delve deeper into the implications of the findings for researchers, educators, designers, and others when planning social interactions inside VR or running large-scale longitudinal studies inside networked virtual reality.